Entrance into the old Wadsworth Elementary School has begun, but residents are still frustrated. Judy Wang is in the newsroom with more. Good morning, Judy. Good morning. 100 men and women have moved into the shelter in the Woodlong School, and more are expected in the days ahead. This was delayed by several weeks because of community opposition to housing migrants and the city's handling of the situation. Two residents made a last-ditch effort to block it on move-in day. Two men stood in front of the first bus as it tried to pull into the school parking lot at 64th and University Thursday afternoon. The bus eventually got in through a different entrance, followed by two more buses carrying migrants. The city plans to house about 250 asylum seekers at the shuttered school for two years. The migrants have to abide by a curfew. They are getting access to medical care, counseling and English classes. More than 5,000 migrants have been dropped off in Chicago by bus from Texas and Colorado since late summer. The Department of Family and Support Services says on average about 10 migrants are arriving every day. Many Woodlawn residents say they are not against helping migrants. They're angry the city moved ahead with its plan for Wadsworth School. Without seeking their input, they are worried about the diverting of resources. We're paying taxes. Our streets and alleys are not being cleaned. Our, um, there's no lighting, a little lighting. Um, crime is, 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 is so high in our community. Put our taxpayers to work for that. Make our community safer. The city has pledged to hold community meetings to keep residents updated. 20th Ward Alder woman Jeanette Taylor plans to host one on the 16th to help discuss ways to help the migrants transition and how to help longtime residents at the same time. In the newsroom, Judy Wang, WGN News.